Hello, everyone. If you're interested in implementing voice search in your Laravel web application, then you may want to check out a video tutorial on the topic. This tutorial will guide you through the process of integrating voice search functionality using Laravel and JavaScript. You'll learn how to set up the necessary packages, create the required components, and handle the voice recognition functionality with JavaScript. The video will provide you with a step-by-step -step approach, and you'll also gain insights into best practices and potential challenges that you may encounter. By the end of the tutorial, you'll have a working voice search feature in your Laravel application, which can enhance user experience and provide a new way to interact with your site. Now I will start the demo of the voice search function that we will do in this video. I will turn on the microphone and say the keywords banana, apple, Post data with input keywords will be queried and the results will be displayed on the screen. Okay, we will start building this project step by step. First in CMD, I will initialize the Laravel project. I will name it search voice example. OK project created, I will open it with Visual Studio Code. I run the PHP Martisan Sir command to launch the server. In PHP my admin I will create a database to hold the data of the post table, where our posts are stored. In the post table, I will create two data fields, name and content, we will query search in the name column. Continuing, I will insert some sample data with lore. At Laravel's end, I will update the newly created database name. On the web, for the simplest tutorial, I will query posts right here and pass the data through the available welcome view. At the welcome blade, I will remove the default Laravel code and write an interface for displaying posts. I use Bootstrap and Fun Awesome with UI build and some icons. Thank you.
I will create a form. In the form, there is an input to search posts. This form has the ID of search form. At input, I will write an ID as search input and name as keyword. I will create a microphone icon. When clicking on this icon, we'll proceed to record the voice. I will forage the post retrieved from the route. OK, all posts are displayed on the screen. I will add some style to the microphone icon. Var speech recognition equals speech recognition, or WebKit speech recognition. This line defines a variable speech recognition that represents the browser's built-in speech recognition API. It checks if the API is available using the form operator, which means if speech recognition is not available, use WebKit speech recognition instead. This is necessary because different browsers use different implementations of the speech recognition API. Var speech grammar list equals speech grammar list, or WebKit speech grammar list. This line defines a variable speech grammar list that represents the browser's built-in speech grammar list API. It checks if the API is available using the or operator, which means if speech grammar list is not available, use WebKit speech grammar list instead. This is necessary because different browsers use different implementations of the speech grammar list API. Var grammar equal JSGF version 1.0. This line defines a variable grammar that contains a JSGF Java speech grammar format string. This is a format for defining speech grammars that can be used by the speech recognition API. Var recognition equal new speech recognition. This line creates a new instance of the speech recognition API. Var speech recognition list equal new speech grammar list. This line creates a new instance of the speech grammar list API. Speech
speech recognition list ad from string grammar one this line adds the jsgf grammar defined in the grammar variable to the speech recognition list recognition Grammars equals speech recognition list This line sets the grammar's property of the speech recognition API to the speech recognition list. Recognition interim results equal false This line sets the interim results property of the speech recognition API to false, which means that the system will only return a final result and not intermediate results. Recognition on result equal function event this line defines a callback function that will be called when the speech recognition system has a result. The function extracts the final transcript from the event object and sets it as the value of a search input field on the web page. It then submits the search form. Recognition on speech end equal function this line defines a callback function that will be called when the user stops speaking. It stops the speech recognition system and removes the recording class from the microphone button. Recognition owner or equal function event this line defines a callback function that will be called when there is an error in the speech recognition system. It logs the error to the console and removes the recording class from the microphone button. Document Query Selector Microphone Add Event Listener Click Function This line attaches an event listener to a microphone button on the web page. When the button is clicked, the speech recognition system is started and the recording class is added to the button. Okay, after my script is fully written. Now I can turn on the microphone and say a few keywords. The console log received and displayed the keyword. Next I will do a search function to return the results in Laravels. I will create a search controller for processing keywords and outputting search results. I will DD data from the request submitted. I will create a route search post to connect the route to the controller.
Her only request is no. There is a problem. The code document get element by ID search input value equal content is a JavaScript statement that sets the value of an HTML input element with the ID of search input to a variable or string name content. Okay, the data from the form has been successfully submitted to the controller. Now I will write a query just to get the search results at the controller. This PHP function that searches for posts in a database table called posts based on a provided search keyword. The function takes a request object as a parameter, which is used to retrieve the search keyword from the user's input. The function then uses the Laravel DB class to query the posts table and retrieve all posts that match the search criteria. The search is performed using the like operator in the SQL query, which allows for partial matches of the keyword in the name column of the posts table. Finally, the function returns a view called welcome with the search results passed as a variable called posts to be rendered in the view. This view can be displayed to the user with the search results that match their search query. Okay, I finished the voice search tutorial video using Laravel and JavaScript. Now you can say anything. If the name field matches the keyword, the data will be displayed. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.